A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the Most Kind, the Most Merciful. Assalamu Alaikum, friends. It's me, Miss Nazira. And my friend, Amir, is not here. Shall we call him together? Amir! <laughs> Amir! Assalamu Alaikum. Oh! Amir, you're here. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? Are you okay? Uh, the Box of Wonder! What's going on? Are uh, you okay, Amin? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? This show has already started. I've what, already what? said salam to our friends. It started? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me hop up. Uh, uh, okay, okay, <laughs> sorry, I was just taking a nap. Oh. I get a little tired sometimes, Ramadan. Oh, your famous naps. I mean, yeah, guess what? Yeah, what? I feel a little bit of sadness because the Umrathon's almost over. It is? It is. But, but we're starting the show, so let's go ahead and start. Are you okay. ready? Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I'm ready. Okay, do you want to do your welcome song to our friends? I would love to. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum, boys and girls. Assalamu alaikum, moms and dads. Assalamu alaikum, friends at home. It's time for the Ramadan show. Hey, hey, it's time for the Ramadan show. Hey, hey. Assalamu alaikum, Miss Nazira. Assalamu alaikum to myself. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Let's start the Ramadan show. Hey, hey, let's start the Ramadan show. Hey, hey. Woohoo, let's start. All right. Wonderful. How are you all doing at home? I hope. You're doing wonderfully well. Well, welcome back. This is lesson number 14 from the Shahar Ramadan project booklet. So we actually have one more left. I think last time I accidentally said that this would be the last one, but it's not. Yahoo! <laughs> one more! <laughs> yes. Alhamdulillah, we have a wonderful program in store for you today and for the next two days because we have a special program for the Eve that's coming right up. We do, we do. Yes, we've been preparing for it. You can see actually, we've even started to change our decorations to get our, our Eid decorations up. All and right. Prepare for the festivities that we have in store for you. Yeah, have you guys been putting up some things in your place? Mm. Yes. It's a very exciting time for all of us, isn't it? Well, before we get into the episode for today, first I'd like to thank those who make this program possible, Saba, Kissa Kids, and Seeds Within. And as always, you can find all of the information for our lessons from the Shahar Ramadan Project Booklet, which can be downloaded for free on kissakids.org, the website. You can also get it from amazon.com if you'd like. Yeah, it's full of a uh, ton of different projects and interesting things. That's right, it, it is. And friends, don't forget that we're still doing the Kiss a Kids Other campaign right now. And it would be so amazing if you all could help support Kiss a Kids during this time and become a monthly donor. So check out the website to find out more about it and see how with a little bit of help from you, Kissa can do a lot, lot more, inshallah. Yeah, and come join the uber cool group. <laughs> Haven't you heard? The executive producer super supporters. That's right. Okay, friends. Well, we have an interesting lesson in store for you all today. And I think we're about ready to get there. Amir, you ready? So you mentioned that Eid was coming up? It um, is. I have a few questions. Oh, sure. Yeah, so how come we don't know which day Eid is? Well, we have a good idea of when it is based on the calculations that we have for the moon. But just like when we were ch when we were waiting to find out when the start of Shahar Ramadan would be, uh -huh. we go through the same thing. We want to make sure we're doing the same thing. We have to check when the moon is visible. Depends on your marja, but it's a little bit complicated. Okay. And I can and definitely answer those questions uh, for you okay. later on. Okay. Well, what, yeah. about, what about fasting? Do we fast on Eid? No, we don't fast on Eid. Actually, there's very few days in the year where you're not allowed to fast, boys and girls, because fasting is a recommended act. Oh. But Eid is actually one day where it's haram to fast. We should not fast. No way. That is true, friends. Whoa. Okay, okay. Um, um, so is it Eid the same day for everybody? Yeah, inshallah. Well, it depends on where you live in the world, and it depends on where the moon has been sighted. So even though Eid might not technically be on the same exact day for everyone, 
The spirit of Eve definitely is still there for oh, everyone. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Let me go get my notepad because I got about 50 more questions if that's okay with you. Well, Amir, actually, um, I'm so glad that you're asking questions. And uh -huh. I'm so happy to answer them all for you. Okay, great. And actually, today's episode has a lot to do with it. So if you're okay with it, let's invite our scholar friends oh, and okay. learn more about the ayah and hadith that have to do with it. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's start. Let's welcome our scholar friends. Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's go! Assalamu alaikum, Sakina! Wa alaikum assalam! Oh, assalamu alaikum! We've got another great guest scholar here, Miss Nazira! We do! We Whoa. have our guest scholar here, cool. Sakina! Sakina, can you tell everyone what um, what your name is, where you're from, and your age? My name is Sakina Fatima Zaidi, and I'm from San from America. Okay. I was born in America and I'm five year old. Wow, so, mashallah. Wow. Okay, so Sakina, we need your help. Yeah. We have a new ayah today and we need your help with the clues to help figure it out. So I'm gonna bring out the box. Of, can you say it with me, Sakina? The box, the box of one. Woohoo! Good job! Okay, here we go! Bismillah! Whoa, Sakina, you gotta check out what's inside here! Okay, you ready? I have four items today, and one of them is pretty big. It doesn't even fit in my box, so I'll bring oh that one gosh. out last, okay? Alright, the I'm first excited. thing is this! <gasps> a question mark! Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a question! question. Yes, it's a question mark. Oh my gosh, we talk together. It's like me, we're in sync. Me and Amir are spending a lot of time together. We're starting to sync up. Okay, so we got a question mark. Good. What are question marks usually used for, Sakina? Do you know? Like if you're confused for something. Oh, yes, yeah. that's true. A question mark can stand for when you're confused or you don't know something. Very good. Or if you do not understand something. If you don't understand something, you have some question marks. Yeah, there's lots of things that I wonder about. Nice. Good. Very good. Okay, next. I have this. I know it's kind of small. I'm going to bring it up to you in just a second, Sakina, John. Oh, that's my friend. Do you know who that is? or? Moana. It's a Moana. Oh, it's a Moana. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, it's a Moana. Yeah. He's got a nice little a mama, a nice little outfit going on, right? Yeah. Who so why what do Moanas do, Sakina? They teach everyone Yeah. They teach everyone things? Yeah, like what kinds of things? Like about Allah and all of the Arabic? They do, most certainly. Very good. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Now this one I sketched out. It's not the best drawing I've done because it was very, very fast. But can you tell what it is? Uh, do you know what kind of person that might be? Well, there's an apple on the desk. And it looks like there's a chalkboard in the background. Yeah. Do you know who might sit behind a desk and have a chalkboard? Hmm. Maybe. What do you think, Sakina? I think it's Miss Mazila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what? Good answer. I wasn't going for that, but you're right. This is a teacher, and I'm a teacher. Very good. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. Very, very astute. Because we have the hijab. Oh, because of the hijab. That's right. That's mashallah. True. My goodness, you're so perceptive. Mashallah. Okay, last one. So big doesn't fit. I had to put it on the side over here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to pull it out, okay? Whoa. Here we go. This Ugh. is like the table of wonder. Ugh, sorry, this one's really big. Oh my gosh, you need some help? <laughs> Hold on, oh, I don't know if I could do something. Sakina, okay. do you know who... Thanks, Amir. <laughs> this, these are two people who are really important to me. Do you think you might know who they might be? Your grandma and your grandpa? Oh, oh good guess. Yeah. Those are my parents. 
Yeah, they are grandpas and grandmas. They are grandmas and grandpas because they have lots of grandkids. Those are my parents. Okay, so that's the fourth clue. Let's think about it, okay? Let's put all our pieces together. Are you ready? Yes. So we have parents. Uh Uh-huh. Right? Put this one back down. We had a teacher. All right. We had a Maulana. And then we had the question mark, and Sakina did a really great job of explaining this. So what do you think our Aya might be about, Sakina? Why you not visit me, Oh, good oh. yes. You're getting ahead of us. That's actually going to be in a future one. We're not quite there yet, but good guess. I practiced. Oh, you practiced that one? Masha I see. Allah, That's girl. beautiful, Mashallah. You're ready for the last lesson. This is actually a different one. Do you know what it's about? What? It's about asking those when we have questions. So let me read the ayah for you, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's from Suda. Let's see, oops, I'm on the wrong page. It's on, it's Suda, I think it's Al-Anbiya. Yes, it is Al-Anbiya. And it's verse number seven, okay? And it says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Fa'as'alu ahla dhikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. Which means, if you don't know something, ask those who know. Oh. And always remember Allah. Yeah, Sakina, wow. if you don't know something, who do you ask? I say what? Yeah, so the ayah of the Quran is teaching us when we're confused about something or we don't know something, Amir and Sakina. It's the ayah is teaching us we should ask those who know. So who are the people that we should be asking, do you think? I thought of like Mom. Who we cannot understand. We could say what you were saying. I couldn't understand you. Yeah, that's a good and then, then, And then they could repeat, repeat it again. Oh, oh you so you're saying ask questions if you didn't understand them the first time. That's so true. And... Sakina, when you're confused about something or you want to know more about something, like let's say, for example, you want to know about the moon or the stars, who do you ask usually? I think Allah. Whoa. MashaAllah, that's the best source of answers. That's beautiful. And especially because this ayah at the end of it, don't forget boys and girls, and it says, and always remember Allah. That's such a good answer, Sakina. How about if you want to know, for example, about, you want to learn more about the Ahl Bayt? Who's someone that you can ask questions? About to the Molana? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. And Allah too. And Allah too. Oh, I love cool. how she always remembers to always remember Allah, just like the, what the ayah of Quran is teaching us, friends. Because remember, it says, if you don't know something, ask those who know. And always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is so beautiful. Sakina, you did a great job of helping us discover our ayah. Yeah. You know, one thing I'm wondering, Mm -hmm. you had a picture of your parents in there. Mm -hmm. So how does that relate? Ooh, thanks, Amir, for bringing that up. Sakina, what do you think? Uh -uh. What, honey? Sakina, go ahead. I want to show you my craft I made. Oh, okay. You can show us, but I have a quick question for you before you do that. I had a picture of my parents. Do you think parents are really good people for us to ask questions of? Like if you want to know something? Like if I want to know about, for example, I want to know more about the planet Mars, or if I want to know more about... um, what are some good things I can do to make Allah happy? Should I ask my parents? Yeah. Amir, yeah. do you ask your parents? Yeah, I do ask my parents. Uh, the other day I asked about how to make churros and I'm still trying to understand the answer. But uh, yeah, we can definitely ask our parents lots of questions. Nice. Masha Allah. That is absolutely true. 
So our parents, our teachers, Molanas, people who know a lot of stuff about the specific thing that you're looking for, right? Like for example, Sakina, if I have a tummy ache and I want to know how to fix my tummy ache, should I ask a police officer or a doctor? A doctor. Yeah, because oh, the doctor yeah. knows about tummy aches, right? Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, it's okay. like we all know about different things and, That's and right. we can share with each other. That's right. And then some people know have special knowledge of really important things in life, like our scholars and our parents and our teachers. Okay, yeah. Sakina, you did an awesome job helping us out. And I want to say thank you to you. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next segment where we're going to learn so many other things. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sakina. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, wow, wee, wow, that was amazing. Good job. It sure was. Mashallah, fantastic. Alhamdulillah. All right, friends, are you ready? So we've talked about our ayah, but now we're going to do our board of wonder. Ready? Okay, here we go. Let's go. We're going to do the Board of Wonder. That's Sorry. right. I had to do it. Yeah, I got to do it justice to the I board. I know, it's tempting to you. Yeah. <laughs> How about you guys? Do you guys sometimes do that at home too? <laughs> cool. All right, let me get out of the way so you can do your thing. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, once upon a time, long, long ago, there in the city of Medina, there was... A gathering of women with Bibi Fatima Zahra. She would actually teach the women uh, the Holy Quran. She would teach them lessons from the Holy Quran and teach them to read the Holy Quran. And in one such gathering, there was one lady in specific, who was asking a lot of questions. And Bibi Fatima the Zahra was answering all of her questions happily and with patience. And that woman, she actually continued to ask a lot of questions. And finally, when she asked her 10th question, she started to feel bad and a little bit embarrassed that she was asking so many questions. But Lady Fatima Zahra. Actually, before we get to this, has that ever happened to you, Amir? Yeah, I've actually experienced that. Where you've about, asked a lot of questions? Yeah, about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, friends at home, have you ever felt that way before? Well, let's see what Bibi Fatima said to her, okay? So Bibi Fatima, peace be upon her and her family, actually said to the lady, she, with a smile, she says, Please, I am honored and happy to answer your questions because when I'm answering your questions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showering down his blessings upon us. Wow. Yes, that's right, friends. So, I tell you this story because there's a moral, right? There's a reason. Of course, this is a story from the life of our beloved Bibi Fatima the Zahra, may, Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon her. But think about it, friends. She was asked so many questions by this woman, and the woman finally got to the point where she even felt embarrassed about it. But Lady Fatima was happily answering those questions. She didn't, God forbid, get annoyed or irritated. In fact, she told the woman, Allah sending down his blessings because of all of her questions. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that shows us and teaches us about the importance of both asking questions and answering questions? What do you think, Amir? Hmm. Well, sounds to me like it's a mutually beneficial transaction. <laughs> Sorry, I've been reading the dictionary lately. <laughs> Good job. That is correct. But I have one more hadith that will hopefully round out the whole picture for us. Here it is on the back of the question, actually. So let me put it over here. 
It's a hadith from our beloved holy prophet. Peace and blessings be upon him and his family. He said, a good question is half of knowledge. Whoa. Think about that. A good question is half of knowledge. Hmm. What do you think that means, Amir? Hmm. You can come a little bit closer. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure, to be honest. There's so many different meanings that we could take from it. It could kind of mean that a question is only part of the information. You kind of need both. Mm -hmm. And the question has to be there to actually get the other part. Right. Well, the way I think of it is like this, boys and girls. It says a good question is half of knowledge. I think of it like a key. So if you have a good question, right? And you have a really good question that opens a door, right? When you get your answer and that door opens up, you have access to a whole bunch of other information that maybe you didn't have before. That's how I like to think of it. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. if we think about all the different things we learned today, first with the ayah of Quran, which tells us if you don't know something, ask those people who do know. And then this story from the life of Bibi Fatima the Zahra and that woman, and where she tells her, ask questions because when I, we're answering your questions, Allah sending down his blessings. And then this hadith from the Prophet that says, it's a good question is half of knowledge. I think it means it's really good to ask questions, Amir. Yeah, it sounds like it was actually good for the lady that was asking the questions and great for Sayyida Fatima. That's right. Absolutely, boys and girls. So remember that when we ask questions, it's good to ask questions of the right people, right? In this case, this lady was asking questions of Bibi Fatima the Zahra. What would I give to be able to ask her questions, right? She's the source of knowledge, one of the Ahlul Bayt, right? So remember, you need to ask questions, you need to ask the right people and ask good questions, inshallah. Yeah, it's Which, so important. Because like, we wouldn't ask like medical questions of like a reality show actor, would we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that would be silly. <laughs> that is very silly. Yeah, so you'd need to write the ask the right questions of the right people. And remember, there are some people who are always great to kind of turn to because they'll sh if they can't answer your questions, they'll show you the right way. Those people are your parents, your teachers, and our ulama. Don't ever forget, friends, okay? That's right, that's right. Because if right. they can't help you, they will show you who can help you, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, yeah, sometimes, like, my dad has said that when he doesn't know the right answer, he said that he's going to find out the right answer for me. Lovely. Yeah, I kind of appreciate that because that way I know, oh, it's okay not to always know everything. Right, you just have to ask the right people. And remember, Sakina, our young scholar friend, she actually said a good point. She says you can ask Allah too. And that's right. We can ask Allah to help us and we should ask Allah to help us and give us knowledge and give us the answers to things. And don't forget, we can always turn to our beloved Ahlan Bayt to help us because they can help us inshallah and don't forget we have our beloved imam zaman who's actually amongst us really Alhamdulillah. yes Alhamdulillah. yes okay well friends we actually should start talking about our craft for the day yahoo all right so remember you're going to pull out your shahar ramadan project booklet and there's actually uh this the stories that I've been telling you come from the Guiding Light series of books that's by Kissa Kids. You can check out the books if you want, but you'll also find the little excerpts inside of your Shahar Ramadan project booklet, along with coloring pages and what we're focusing on now, our project for the day or our craft for the day. So what you'll see is a page, and mine's already torn out, that looks a bit like this, and it has all of the important W questions. You know the W questions, Amir um. and friends at home? It's the who, what, where, when, why, and actually one of them is an H, and how questions. Oh, yeah. Those are all of the, the question, I mean, words that we use when we're asking questions, right? So, you're going to follow the instructions. You're going to color it, cut it out, fold it, do all the things that it asks you to do. And you'll just need a piece of yarn in addition to that page. Okay. Or like any sort of like rope? Yeah, rope, string, and you're going to make... A little question pocket. Oh, whoa, question pocket. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna take those all out, cut them up, 
follow the directions and what you'll see is a little envelope or pocket where whenever you have questions you can plop them in here and you can put this around your neck and go and ask those questions. So for example, Amir, uh -huh, uh -huh. this one, I think I can make it a little bit shorter so that it fits you. Okay. Wait, fits who? There you go. Fits me? Yes. Now you can put all of your questions inside of this little pocket. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I may need your help actually uh, to put them in because sometimes it's hard to move my hands here. No problem, I can help you out. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, friends, well, I would love to see all of your crafts. Don't forget to send it all in. And remember, don't forget, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we're having a two-day Eid special. Woohoo! And guess what, Amir? What? We have special readings and surprises. We do. And we're actually giving away some brand new, never before seen books. Oh my gosh, it's like we get all the exclusives here. Yes, we do. So all you have to do is actually participate in sending in your Eid at home submissions, which your parents can tell you about, or you can read about it below. And there'll be chances for the raffle prizes, and we're excited to see everyone tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, well, I think we're done for today. Aww, okay. Yeah, it is more sad these days because as excited as we are for Eid to come at the same time, it is a sad farewell to the beloved month of Ramadan, right? Alhamdulillah. Well, we really got to squeeze out everything we can. So right, right after this show, I'm going to go read some Quran. That's a beautiful suggestion. Okay, friends, I'm going to join him here. Inshallah, we'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Bi'amanallah.